Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, Trying Divine Tarot. I'm trying. I'll be reading for you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, let's get right into your reading. I miss you guys. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. Time and energy is fluid. So whenever you come across this reading, it may be for you. All right, let's get off with two energies and see where that takes us. What does the Libra need to know? Okay, one more. Okay, so, oh my gosh, somebody might be celebrating an anniversary or it's an anniversary of some sort. We have proposal that wants to come out with the wedding bands and then we have cracker, all right? So, this is my, like, something that happens annually card, okay, like once a year because of the Christmas theme that's going around. We celebrate break Christmas once a year with the Christmas tree. It says cracker, so also another holiday would be, um, if you're from the States, the 4th of July that just passed. That's our Independence Day. We blow off a bunch of firecrackers and get crazy okay but that happens once a year too so i'm feeling like it might be somebody's anniversary somebody's celebrating an anniversary there might be a little special gift this time around okay something very special something new uh, let's see or you're coming into union with somebody new, okay? And, or you're in a newer relationship. You may have been divorced or separated or in a long-term relationship, um, but I feel like a newer energy, you're with a newer energy, uh, possibly a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you don't have to be, but I feel like really, like somebody wants to take something to the next level, okay? Um, somebody wants to celebrate the holidays with you, okay? The, I, somebody, I'm feeling like somebody wants 10 of cups energy with the Libra, all right? Uh, it's a really beautiful feeling I'm feeling right now. Something very good. Something very positive, okay? We'll see. Why is Proposal and Cracker here? If this isn't regarding uh, like a love relationship, it's something that you really find exciting and it's something you really find passionate about and it's something that you want to dedicate yourself to completely, all right? Let's see, why is Proposal and Cracker here for the Libra? All right, ooh, we have False Person. So depending on what the cards are, as of now, somebody has a surprise up their sleeve, okay? Somebody's hiding something. Somebody really loves and admires somebody and um, somebody's coming in with a big surprise that will lead to something really abundant and fruitful. Uh, we'll see what the other cards say, but right now that's the energy. That's a story for somebody. All right. Why is false person here for the Libra? All right. We have a journey card, which is a 10. All right, this is the locomotion. Somebody's moving on. Somebody's moving forward. Somebody's getting on that train. This is the train to destiny. Somebody's closing out a chapter. Something's being left behind so they can move forward with something new. I said Ace of Wands energy. That's newer energy. Something that's passionate. Something's exciting. All right. Somebody's been guided to move in that direction. Why is the journey card here with false person? Okay. We have distant horizons. So now we have two vehicles. There's a change coming as well as things are moving along. Okay. 
Things were stagnant. Things, somebody was being, okay. Somebody couldn't move forward to the place that they've been guided to go. It's like somebody was all ready. Somebody was all dressed up and ready to go, but there was still something holding them back. There's a big change coming to help somebody release the anchor. And I believe it's this new energy. This is the happiest card in the deck, but as you can see, it was being held back. There was like this, this giant, I don't know, but it was big enough to keep this ship in one place, idling in one spot for quite some time. Spirit is here. Spirit is trying to lead the way. Spirit is trying to um, guide somebody in the right direction. Kind of giving them t the tools on how to snip that anchor off of themselves so they can move forward. The, it's rolled by the 36, the 3 and the 6, that's a 9. And 9 is the change energy. Things are going to be changing around. Somebody's made a decision to cut the cord someplace so they can align themselves with their destined purpose, okay? Somebody may have been in a long-term re karmic relationship and it was time to cut the cord, okay? Because their happiness wasn't there. Their happiness is with somebody new. They may have been bound to that other commitment, but I now I see a new energy that wants to commit themselves to you, Libra, or Libra, this is you. All right, let's see what else we get for the Libra. Somebody, okay. Here's that spirit energy I was talking about with the seagull, the seagull, or any sort of, um, winged feathered creature you see in any of these tarot decks that's spirit okay so also this is the lord's love coming in through that window trying to get somebody's attention um trying to shed light on a situation somebody was really worried about um boarding that train okay getting on that train because they know this train is taking off this train is leading them to where they need to go but somebody was a little reluctant and fearing the future because they were still living and attached to something from the past okay but somebody is deciding to clip the anchor and free themselves because they know where they're being gui guided to go and i believe it's to a newer person that they're in love with, that they want to be committed to. I feel like they were committed to the wrong person for quite some time. And there might be history there, and it was hard to separate from, okay? But somebody knows that it's time. I feel like somebody feels like they're not getting any younger, um, and they need to make the decision, okay? All right, let's see. For the Libra... All right, we have community. So this is my social media card. It's also representative of the town you live in. It's also representative of the company you keep. It's also representative of your friends and family, okay? So I think also what was holding somebody back was what will everybody say? How will people think of me? They were giving too much into what other people's opinion of the situation might might be, okay? Um, but I think somebody's overcoming that. Why is uh, the community card here for the Libra? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we have a few cards here. We have the marriage card that wants to come out. Okay. Somebody might possibly be on their third marriage or their third commitment, a uh, long-term relationship. I don't know. 
uh, but marriage is definitely on somebody's mind. There is some sort of unexpected income or there is some sort of change taking place. Like somebody wants to give something to someone and I said there's a big there's a big opportunity or a big offer coming in. There's going to be an exchange and it's going to be, I feel like an item of some sort, possibly a ring, okay? To solidify a union, all right? We're seeing this masculine, the ring is predominant here and then here is something being passed off onto somebody else, okay? It's also ruled by the 27, the 2 and the 9, that's a, I'm sorry, the 2 and the 7, that's a 9, that's a change. That's a change in the Kipper deck. So, somebody's changing partners, somebody's changing out of a relationship and wanting to give their energy to someone else elsewhere. Somebody that you met, uh, maybe possibly on social media, Maybe somebody that lives around you, okay? But you caught the eye of someone, a friend of a friend, or you might know this person from, from the past, okay? For whatever reason, it couldn't work out uh, back then, but it wants to work its way out now. All right, one more for the Libra. All right, here we are with family room. <laughs> okay, so I know that I said community, something, okay. Okay. The, it's rolled by 21, all right, two and the one, that's a three. And here we go with three with marriage. Somebody's envisioning starting a family with you, Libra, or Somebody wants to enter, that's a surprise. Somebody might want to introduce you to their family. All right, things are kicking up. Things are heating up in your relationship. Things are moving forward. And I feel something is moving to the next level. All right. Uh, if you were wondering if there was any delays, it was because somebody had to disconnect from something that didn't serve them any longer, okay? All right, let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Also, let me see if there's any little messages, extra little messages I can give you. Are there any messages in here that I can give the Libra? Let's see. For the Libra, please. All right. It says no one compares. No matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. Oh, uh, that might be said in someone's proposal, okay? No one compares to you. And it also fell over the community card, okay? No matter how many no matter how many people I've met and experiences I have, there's no one who compares to you. Okay. <laughs> All right, more for the Libra. Okay. Run away. Oh my gosh. Libra, you could be eloping, um, you could be having like a destination wedding, somebody wants to commit and commit fast, okay, it says run away, would you pack a bag, hold, hold on, this guy's bags are packed, do you see that? Do you see that? What did I say? The locomotion, the train to destiny. It's going somewhere. All right. When Back in the day when people wanted to travel and cover long distances, they didn't have the airplane yet. They had to get around by train. 
Let me read the card. Run away. Would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Okay. Okay. On this little getaway, there might be a little something extra that comes in a small little box. All right, another one for the Libra. I don't know if I want to take that. <sighs> Maybe I do because it's what I've been saying. And I'm, I don't know if I'll read the rest of the card, but I can tell you, uh, I know I was just saying this. It says, let the past go. Let the past go. Somebody has to disconnect from their past in order to move forward. If you were wondering what the delay was, that that's what was causing it. Can we rewind time and go back to before we were both broken down by life? Our pasts hold us back from our future. All right. Now I'm going to be guided to do one more. One more message for the Libra. Tears. When I think about you, I cry. Somebody is emotionally invested, okay? Somebody wants to be with their person. Somebody is extremely in love with somebody uh, and not being with them, not being with them on a daily basis is hurting them. It's like this feeling of longing, okay? All right. Let's get into it with the tarot. <laughs> What more can we tell the Leo? You could be dealing with the Leo. Especially because this fire sign is very predominant. All right. Don't have to be, though. What else can I tell the Libra? All right. Yes. Something's coming to an end, so something brand new can begin. Okay? And I said that with this energy of the 10. 10 brings in energies and transform something new to begin. Like somebody's getting on the train to start a whole new life somewhere else, okay? Somebody's closing out the chapters, closing out what needs to be closed out so they can enjoy their new experiences without it being tainted in any sort of way, okay? All right, another one for the Libra. Okay. So we have the nine of wands. I feel like somebody was in a commitment for at least nine months, nine years, who knows, uh, that wasn't serving them, okay? And somebody is finally surrendering to their own life purpose, their own soul purpose, what they've been, almost like somebody was feeling guilty for wanting to live the life that they want to live or be with the person that they want to be. Somebody was feeling very guilty, but they're surrendering to it, okay? And um, this is, a, they call this the Wounded Warrior card. I know he has tears. When I think about you, I cry because somebody has been harboring their feelings and keeping their feelings for somebody that they really love to themselves, possibly because they were committed elsewhere, all right? Um, but, you know, they say that about the wounded warrior, that they faced many battles in their life, um, but they're not defeated. They rise to fight another day, okay? All right. Another one for the Libra. All right. Yep, here it is. We're at the Three of Wands. All right, you don't get to the Three of Wands without going through the eight of cups all right the eight of cups is somebody that's turning their back on a situation okay cups that have been filled and spilled and can't be refilled i feel like there was a situation that had just run its course and somebody has finally surrendered with the nine of wands that that's enough What's after the eight is the ninth cup, which is wish fulfillment. My desire 
and my wishes are important and they lie somewhere else. So somebody has been harboring this move, this exit for quite some time, all right? Um, on this journey to find their wish fulfillment, I feel like this person has already been guided somewhere, okay? And um, it, the future is scary, all right? You have to go to the forest before you can reach the shore. Once you make it out of the forest, you reach the shoreline, okay? And there is somebody there waiting, all right? This is putting the past behind. Somebody is standing at the shoreline and turning their light on and calling their ship to them. And the ship saw the signal. The ship knows exactly where to go. It's being called to their lighthouse. And here it is to arrive within three days, three weeks, three months at this longest. Libra, you're going to be receiving some of the best news that you've received in quite some time. What you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for is on the ship and is set to arrive, okay? All right, what's one more for the Libra? Then we're gonna wrap it up. Oh. <laughs> All right, here you are, Libra. Here you are, showing out to your own reading, the Empress card. You share this energy with your buddy Taurus. Somebody's giving you the ring. Somebody's giving you the keys to the city. Somebody wants you to be the mother of their children. And they want the Ten of Cups with the Libra. Okay? Somebody wants you to be, this is wifey. This is, they see you as the end all be all. You are everything to them. And they know it. They recognize you. And they want to commit to you for the rest of their life. All right? All right, I'm going to leave it there for the Libra. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It lets you know every time I upload a video. All right, till next time, baby dolls. Ciao.